Hey. What's going on? Welcome to Cyberculture. No, no. This isn't Cyberculture. This is Cyberculture. Come on, I'll show you. Watch this. Open word processing. Anything for you, handsome. Opening word processing. You like that? Listen to what happens if I make a mistake. Hey, cut that out. Computer with an attitude, huh? Been working on this song for a while now. It's the last song for our new album. We just needed one more song. The record company sequestered me here so I could get some peace and quiet. Sequestered, you know, locked me away. Not a bad place to be locked away, huh? Check spelling. Checking spelling. We're gonna put a video together for this song, too. I thought you might be interested. Save file. Saving file. All the folks you're gonna see are heavily into cyber culture. Close word processing. Open electronic mail. Closing word processing. Opening email. And all the cyber culture stuff you're gonna see, well, we're not talking some futuristic kind of stuff. It's all like right here, right now. To Mike, send file, new song. And to Laura, send file, new song. I'm sending a copy of the lyrics to my record producer and a copy to the video producer so they can get started. Sending email. By the way, throughout the course of this program, I may get a little preachy. Can't help it. We're talking about something that's very important to me. We're talking about freedom. Okay, cut. This guy that was killer. I'm going to talk to a couple of people. You know, I think we ought to be able to move this project back a week. What do you think? Mike, I really don't think we're going to be able to. It's really too tight. What's going, guys? Hey, hey. what's up, guys? All right. all right, I see you finally went all digital. Yeah, everything's controlled by computer now. Well, you know, you spend a lot of money on software when you could just bootleg it. Yeah, how would you like it if we ripped off your music? I could give you a couple of dozen reasons not to rip off software. I'll just give you a few. It's First, illegal. Well, it is illegal, but that wouldn't stop a lot of folks from doing it. In fact, some might get a thrill from it. The thing to remember about software is that you don't just automatically know how to use it. I mean, these systems come with hundreds of pages of documentation. And it's not like we sit around all day and read it, you understand. But when you need it, you've got to have it. And you're always going to have questions you've got to call a software company about. And if you're not a registered user, they're not going to answer your question. You know, we've got a million dollars worth of equipment here, man. But when people come to see us, they don't care about a million dollars worth of equipment. They come to us because they trust us. Besides, it's illegal. Well, I told you it might get a little preachy. So what? This isn't about software piracy. It's about freedom. Stick with me and you'll figure it out. Meanwhile, back at the new album, Gary's been working on some ideas for the CD cover. In the old days, we'd have to do lunch or take a meeting. Problem is, Gary likes to fall out of bed every morning and go straight to work while he's still in his underwear. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. Here in Cyberculture, he can just send me his idea over the phone line. No, that's not it. No, that won't do. You guys are right. You tell him, man, he hates me already. Living in a Cyberculture makes it a whole lot easier to communicate, but you've still got to know what you want to communicate. We're gonna do a couple of jump cuts now, and I'm gonna take you over to the production company that's doing our video. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I don't think you wanna be in the same room with the people editing your performance. What, that bad? No, I wouldn't say bad. What would you say? What would you say? Well, we're making a film called Cyberculture, and you keep talking about freedom. Do you think we need to change the name of the program? Well, that's up to those guys. By the way, where's Dick? Dick. Dick is right here, right after you. Hello? Is anybody out there? 
Hey, Dick, it's me. You feeling better? I'll be feeling better when my computer's feeling better. What happened, man? You sneeze on your computer and give it a cold? I wish it were that simple. No, 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 no. Computer viruses don't happen by accident. Somebody knew what they were doing when they created this thing. And they ought to be hung. Uh, come on, Dick. What's the big deal? Somebody was just getting a little mental exercise. Uh, testing his limits, so to speak. I'm sure he didn't mean any harm. Didn't mean any harm? How about the couple of hundred bucks it cost me to cure this virus? Not to mention the time and hassle. Well, maybe the guy's experiment just got a little out of hand. Somebody's experiment gets out of hand, so Dick or anyone else who gets in the way is supposed to suffer? I, I don't think so. A kid knocks your window out playing baseball is still responsible for the window. Yeah, well, a guy has to be free to test his boundaries. Well, as long as his freedom doesn't create any boundaries for me. Hey, Dick, I sent your computer a get well email. You can read it when you're up and running. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Later. See ya. Hey, think about it. How much of your freedom are you willing to give up so somebody else can be a jerk? Hey, Johnny, that was important, man. Can you play that back? Right. Hey, think about it. How much of your freedom are you willing to give up so somebody else can be a jerk? Good question, huh? Listen, I gotta give Gary a call to see if he's got something else for us to look at. We need the artwork for the album cover. But in the meantime, there's a couple of places that you're gonna cut away to. Hey, Johnny, plug in the uh, medical piece. You got it. I don't want you to think that cyberculture is strictly for musicians, producers, and artists. Cyberculture is worldwide. Let me give you just a couple of other examples. You see how these x-rays are appearing on this doctor's computer screen? What's amazing about this is that the image is coming from miles away. Now, a doctor doesn't have to rush out in the middle of the night. He can consult with a hospital. He can consult with several hospitals using his home computer. And in the medical business, saving time could mean saving lives. Check this out. A little bit closer to home for most of you, huh? In cyberculture, this is called distributive learning. That means students at one school have access to what's going on at other schools. You say you've got enough to keep up with at your own school? Hey, unless you want to spend the rest of your days behind the counter at some fast food place, you'd better jump into the future. And in cyberculture, you've got the freedom to make that jump. Of course, there are always a couple of jerks out there who don't want you to have that freedom. We call those folks hackers. Hackers don't think they're doing anything wrong. They'll break into your computer and claim that they're just looking around. Hey, how would you like it if I broke into your room and then told you I was just looking around? Your privacy shouldn't be violated just because a hacker wants to snoop around. And neither should mine, neither should the schools, neither should the doctors. How much of your privacy are you willing to give up so someone else can be a jerk? Are these color levels okay with you? What do you think? Pretty good, huh? This is Gary's latest for the CD cover. He sent it to us over the phone line, and now Kristen is going to animate it for the video. I'm going to leave it with her because I've got to get back to the recording studio. Wish I could send myself over the phone line. Thanks a lot. See you. This is your eye in the sky with your rush hour traffic. Looks like some nut tried to take a left where there was no left and traffic is tied up on the northbound freeway. I'd suggest a third avenue bypass, although traffic is already beginning to back up there as well. But avoid Now he tells me if you can. He call it a freeway. I'm not free. I'm trapped. I'm trapped because some jerk tried to do something stupid. How much of your freedom are you willing to give up so that somebody else can be a jerk? Man, hey man, over here. Heard you dudes got a record deal, man. You're lucky, you know that? You're a lucky dude, man. I practice my guitar every day since I was 12 years old. It's amazing how lucky you can be when you work your tail off. We're gonna cut to another aerial view of this traffic jam, and then we're gonna cut to me back at the studio. Otherwise, I'll never get out of here. While you're checking out the traffic, let me draw a comparison for you. In cyberculture, these roads aren't nearly as important as these roads. Cyberculture is changing the way we travel, changing the way we do just about everything. When I write a song, I still write over chords. Now, though, I have the know-how to manipulate those chords with a computer. A lot of people thought that when we came to the information age, it would be like some science fiction movie. 
you know, cyborgs take over everything, including our lives. Well, it hasn't turned out that way. Writers and artists still create, doctors still doctor, teachers still teach, editors still edit, still edit, still edit, and producers still gripe about everything. We still do what we do, we just do it better. We do it faster. And we do it with a great deal of freedom. Hey, if Gary wants to stay home and work in his underwear, he's free to do so. What about you? What do you want to be free to do? Just name it. You can do it in cyberculture. Except, of course, you can't step on the freedom of others. Some people think hacking, software piracy, and cheating could result in the shutting down of the open lanes of communication that keep us free. I don't think so. I think it would just make them harder to travel. Sort of like a traffic jam. Say the air is cool. 